All right, guys, get some NBA picks and props for Sunday, March 10th, slated games. Trey, let's take a look at that leaderboard. How do you start us off? Yeah, boys, we're recording a little bit early, so it's going to be one uh, 0 0 across the board. I gave out the Golden State Warriors minus 8.5 versus the Spurs. Game has not started, but I have a lot of confidence in the home team. And I've got the Dallas Mavericks minus 6.5 going up against the Pistons. I still don't know if Kyrie Irving and Luka Doncic are going to play. So hopefully they both play. Hopefully we can cover the 6.5 there. Trey, let's go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, 0 0 here as well. I gave out Jason Tatum. Over 26 and a half points versus the Suns. He's going up against KD, so he's going to show up for this big game and pour on the points. Let's go. Yeah, and I'm seeing on action Luka over 34 and a half. I'm also seeing Kyrie Irving over 27 and a half. So I'm going to take one of them whenever they pop up a prize picks or fan duel. So hopefully one of them plays. Right now, I said last video, Luka over 34 and a half points will be the official play. If he sits out, I'm going Kyrie Irving. If they both sit out, no play for myself. Trey, let's go to the group play. It has not started recording extra early today. We both took the Boston Celtics on the road. Uh, hopefully they don't screw me. I do have money on them. So whenever I bet money on them, they usually lose. So hopefully they don't lose this time around. Let's go to the group play for tomorrow. It's going to be a good game here. The 76ers going up against the Knicks. Knicks, uh, we don't know the spread yet. And we don't know the over-under yet, but I'm assuming the Knicks will be the favorite. I'm assuming the over-under is going to be, oh, let me guess, two, 18 and a half. Two eighteen and a half for the over-under. Um, Tyrese Maxey is questionable with a concussion, and Jalen Brunson had his first game back after his injury, scored 26 points. What do you like in this game? Yeah, I'm going to have to take the Knicks. We don't have a spread like Bear said, but they're the better team. They're playing better. They are coming off a win, so I have to believe they're going to keep them, the momentum going. Yes, both teams, they are very injured at the moment. That's what the NBA is late in the season. We have to just buckle in and prepare for that. But I'm just going to take the home team. Thibodeau is going to have his team buzzing for this. They know that they need to keep stringing together wins if they want to stay – uh, out of the plane and get a good uh, Eastern Conference seed. So, given the Knicks here, I'm going to take them on the spread at home. Yeah, uh, especially if Maxi doesn't play, you got to smash the Knicks here. The Knicks, 110 to 96 in the last game against the 76ers, two games ago, 128 to 92. They've allowed less than 100 points in both their meetings this season. Philadelphia coming off three consecutive losses. The Knicks held the Magic to 74 points in the last game. The defense is buzzing. Got to take the Knicks here against the spread. Trey, let's go to our place for tomorrow. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm excited to talk about my play. It's going to be this New Orleans Pelicans going up against Atlanta Hawks game. And it's going to be a very fun game to watch. Both teams, they're currently in playoff contention in their conferences. The Pelicans, they check in fifth at, in the Western Conference with a 38-25 and 25 record. They're also 34-27-2 and two ATS in New Orleans. They're 20-13 and 13 on the road this year. They've been road warriors all season long. And the Hawks, they check in this game 10th in the Eastern Conference. They're also 29-34 and 34 at the moment. With a 22 and 41 ATS mark, Atlanta they are also 16 and 16 at home this year. So the Hawks they cannot cover a game to save their life, and I have to expect that to continue. Give me the Pelicans here, minus five and a half. I love that this number is so low because this Pelicans team is significantly better than the Hawks. The Pelicans they're trying their best to stay out of the playing game, so they know they need to keep stringing together wins. And this game is not a game that they're going to be overlooking because the Hawks they already beat the Pelicans this season by 18 points, but in that game. The Hawks, they did have Trey Young, and Young, he's going to continue to be out for this game, along with basically half of the Hawks bench. So I just do not think Atlanta has enough firepower to keep up in this game, especially going to, up against the Pelicans and what might be the best starting lineup in the NBA. This Pelicans team, they are just so very deep, and they're finally healthy. We might need to look out for them come May in the NBA playoff time, but in the regular season, they're going to finish strong here. Give them the Pelicans, minus 5.5 against the Hawks. Yeah, Trey, I do love that play there for you. Uh, for my play today... We're going to be looking at the Indiana Pacers traveling to take on the Orlando Magic. I'm going to grab the Magic on the money line at home this game. Orlando, I just talked about it a little bit. They're coming off an embarrassing loss, losing 98-74 to in their last game against the Knicks. An NBA team scoring 74 points is unheard of. So I do think the offense is going to play with a little bit more aggression in this game. Besides that last game against the Knicks, this has been the best team after the All-Star break, winning four consecutive games, covering the spread in all four of those games. And with that offense struggling in the last game, this game should be much better for them because they're giving they're going up against one of the worst defenses in the NBA in the Pacers. This is a great mouse back spot for the Orlando Magic team. And the good news also for this game is that they're playing on the hour. I looked this up, kind of a weird stat. Doesn't really matter, probably not. The Magic playing at 6 o'clock, which is on the hour instead of 6.30 game or 7.30 game. Whenever the Magic play at 6 o'clock, 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock, on the hour, instead of a 30-minute timer increment, they are 35 and 16 on the season. Whenever they don't play on the hour, um, they're two and nine. So I know that stat doesn't really matter. I thought it was pretty cool. So give me the Orlando Magic here. They're playing on the hour. They're at home. Big bounce back spot after that bad performance against the Knicks. Trey, let's go to the player props. How do you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to take us over to Bears' favorite team. It's going to be Kyle Kuzma mm -hmm. 
to go over his points going up against the Heat. I really love this over for Kuzma in this game. We're going to see him set the tone here early and often for the Wizards, especially since this game is in Miami. Usually in Miami, I would take Jordan Poole over points since there's so many baddies there, but I'm going to pivot over to Kuzma because we've seen Kuzma really play well at Miami. I'm not worried about him being guarded by Jimmy Butler in this game because over Kuzma's last four games at Miami, he's averaging 26.3 points per game. And Kuzma, he scored 22-plus points in all four of those games. And I have to expect that to continue here because Kuzma, he's coming in this game with some momentum. I expect him to finish with 25-plus points. That's because over his last four games, Kuzma, he's averaging 27 points per game. We're going to see him put the Wizards on his back here, especially since he usually takes – most of the line share shots here, and I'm all here for that. The Wizards, they finally got a win on the board in their last game, and Kuzma, he's going to want to finish a regular season strong, especially with his own stats. So give me Kyle Kuzma to go over his points versus the Heat. Yeah, sure, I like that one there. Uh, for my player prop today, it's going to be Brandon Ingram of the Pelicans go over his total points against the Hawks. I think Brandon Ingram might be the best mid-range player in the NBA. Him and DeMar DeRozan, they're up there for maybe the best two jump shot shooters inside the arc. Brandon Ingram, he doesn't take a lot of threes, and he can still put up 24-plus points every single night. On the season, he's scoring 21.6 points per game. He's shooting 50% from the field. And some nights, he doesn't even attempt to take a three-point shot. I think he's going to have a fantastic game in this one going up against the Atlanta Hawks. They have one of the worst defenses in the NBA as a team. Atlanta, they're giving up 121.5 points per game. And I think Brandon Ingram is going to find a ton of gaps, have a ton of open layups, and go way over his total in this game. I definitely wanted to attack this Atlanta Hawks team. And instead of giving out C.J. McComb, which I would have done, but he's been struggling a little bit, I'm going to go with Brandon Ingram in this one. Ingram against the Pacers a couple of nights ago, who have about the same defense as the Hawks, shot 20-plus times in both of those games. He scored 30-plus points in, the, in both those games as well. He only made one three-point shot in both those games too. So he's going to kill Atlanta in this game from the mid-range. Give me his over total points as the play. Trey, let's go with the graphic. Have you start us off? Yeah, guys, I'm going to go in with the Pelicans here, minus 5.5 versus the Hawks. I agree with everything Barry just said about Brandon Ingram. He's going to go off and be a catalyst us covering this game with the Pelicans here. And I'm also going with Kyle Kuzma over his points versus the Heat. He's going to show up in Miami. He's going to kind of show up there in a fly-ass uh, suit or jumpsuit, whatever he's going to wear, and he's going to look good for those baddies. You better believe it. Yeah, I'm going with the Magic here in a bounce-back spot after that bad performance against the Knicks on the money line at home. And then Brandon Ingram over his total points, probably going to get it 20 and a half, 21 and a half. He's going to go way over that number against the Atlanta Hawks. Guys, that's going to do it for the NBA Plays and Props for Sunday, March 10th slate of games. If you guys enjoyed the content, please sure to drop a like in this video and subscribe to the channel below. See you guys next video, and thanks for watching. Bowl. We also have 12,000 subs coming right around the bend. We're at 10,200. We're going to give away two tickets to anybody, to any game they want, NBA, NFL, college basketball. It doesn't matter. We can wait until the new season for NFL. Any game you want to go, whenever we get to 12K, we're going to have that uh, giveaway coming up as well. Leaderboard. We had multiple questions this morning about how to become a member for the YouTube channel. Let's do that really quick tutorial. You're going to go to YouTube.com. You're going to go to Bears Profit Plays. You're going to search it in. You're going to hit our thing. There's a join button right just to the right of the subscribe. You're going to click that. There's two options. You have the Bear Pack for $4.99. That gives you access to YouTube member plays. And then you have the Bear Pack Gold for $7.99 a month. That gives you access to our member plays on YouTube. And it gives you a one-month membership to our website, bearsprofitplays.com. So if you get the Bear Pack Gold, you save yourself 2 bucks a month. A little bit cheaper if you want to do that. But that is the tutorial for anybody that needed it. We had multiple questions today through email about how to do it, and it wasn't working. But if you want to know, there it is right there. Trey, 